I've actually used this same trencher before to run my lines for the electricity to our new barn here uh, from the pole and then also to our well house sitting right here. I did this a while ago, so I've been really excited to get the second half and the finishing product done with this bad boy right here. Okay, so here's, here's one of the old existing lines, the one inch that comes right in here. Get off here, we're gonna 90. We're gonna go down. This will have to be covered, obviously, because of cold weather. Go down and we're gonna start trenching and I'll stop along the way. We're gonna put a line here. We're gonna be able to put some water here that we can use in the future water the animals we're gonna go straight through the pasture where the bison are and i'll show you where we're going from there I had to get that hoodie off because it is getting warm already but i ran into uh here's the old line it's like a one inch line got, got some pieces of it and now i think i've basically got off of it um it's running here to the left but i mean this is what i'm gonna deal with something i didn't mention is i'm gonna be facing a lot of this stuff which i did when i laid the old trench for the electric lines so should be fun that will probably be my biggest hold up uh with this guy is the rock here you get about a foot and a half below the uh, top soil and that's where the rocks really start so depends on what i run into with that situation but um something else i want to mention i'm going to go at least two feet deep on this that's my goal in oklahoma it only has to be 18 inches deep for your water lines but with the recent winter blast, like you know, we went through, Oklahoma and Texas went through and all the problems it caused, we're gonna go at least two feet just to be safe. And I know that was kind of a, a weird deal that never gets this cold here. So we're gonna go at least two feet deep. Got our main line coming right through here 
And then I've teed off because I'm gonna put a water spicker right here. And then here we're gonna put our main line. I'm gonna move this uh, feet, the speed trough out of the way. And then we're gonna start heading right basically to there. Man, that's a really nice glove. trenching out here Kevin and I put some field fence up on this stretch right here a long time ago it was one of our first cross fences to create this lot right here it was the lot where I actually put Dunbar's toy uh, he hasn't been in this lot in a long time but um, we haven't had any animals in this lot in a while and we put our ranch uh, or a field fence up uh, that we could use as a calf a weaning lot calves have been in here um you know i lost one heifer and anyways i've got two calves and i've got eleanor oh lovely sweet eleanor in here right now and so what i'm gonna do is you gotta when you wean them they gotta be in something solid like this for a while because those calves they're, they're gonna want to get out they get they get stressed out some of course that's why they have to be together but they uh, gotta have something solid for these calves but now uh, I'm gonna let them out here because we do have this field fence where they can't get out. Barbed wire, it's not safe to, to keep the calves in um, because they're gonna wanna get out in the, with the herd, which is way out there, um, and, and try to get it back out to mama. So that's why we keep them in something solid like this. But now it's time to get them out and there's some green grass here it's starting to pop up after the warm weather we have. So I'm gonna let them out here and let them run around. So it's a good chance they could get pretty excited. Didn't waste any time. Found what they've missed and that's green grass. They love it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I knew there'd be some excitement. down here in the bottom pasture you may have recognized the piles here got the new cross fence right here so we've got a bottom paddock here top paddock there and another bottom bigger bottom here these old terraces on these farms and these old pasture lands I may use it to my advantage here because wherever we put this water trough or these tire tanks I want it on a hill so that if water does run off of the bison you know come up to drink it and they make a mess whatever the water's gonna run off down the hill I think that's important you don't want to build one of these tire tanks down below like where the water you can see where the old water line sits down here in this dark area 
and then it wraps around and there's a pond sitting right in there. So that water, when it rains and it comes off the hill, that watershed, it sets right here. We don't want the bison to get in that and trample it and stomp it really good. So I think we're gonna put our tire tank right here on the hill on this old terrace mound that runs right through here and you can kind of see it. So we're gonna use this to our advantage. We're also gonna put rock around our tire tank. So right here, we'll probably take the T-post out. I set a pipe here and set a pipe here and we'll put a bar across it just to keep the bison out of the water tanks and not damaging the products or the stuff inside the pipe inside. I'll talk about that stuff later when we start installing the tire tanks. So right here, I'm gonna trench this out some cause I'm gonna lay my tire sort of down in the earth a little bit into the ground. And then I'm gonna trench just to the side of that pile all the way back up to the top. Five minutes later, with the good old rock bar and some effort, rock laying down sideways. <sighs> the bison are grateful. <sighs> just about done trenching, but I just want to show you guys what I'm dealing with. It's kind of a low bottom where I built my new fence right here. But, I mean, look at that. I'm not even a foot deep here. I am there, but right here. You're going, well, golly, Dusty, that ain't very deep. You're right, it's not. You know, I'm getting anywhere from 18 to 24 inches in most places. About 80% of this has been rock. And I'm not talking just wee size. I'm talking, and this doesn't even do scale justice on here. But rocks, lots of rocks. And this is slow, this really slows Kevin and I down. And there's a bunch of these little size guys. You see how big it is fitting in my hand. Then you take something like this. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to lift that. That we're fighting against through here. All for a good reason, but still. This has been a pain in the you know what. Uh, it sucks. It just, it flat out sucks. I, I don't know an, another way to put it. There's no other way to put this. Hey guys, I'm gonna go out and have some fun. Eleanor. Hey, silly. You're on the wrong side. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh, you goofball. Stop and poop first. 